that day was one of the worst days of my life. <laughs> um, just knowing that I had to drop him off and, you know, I even asked, can I come in with them? And he stayed in the hospital 49 days. It was just, I can't even describe it. Breathe, I feel like somebody was standing, standing on my chest. And um, finally one day he called and said, I just can't take it anymore. Go ahead and call, you know, the funeral home. Go ahead and, you know, start looking at the policies and tell the kids I love them. And um, I say, I just need for you to fight. There's too much for you to do. God called you into ministry. God called you to sing. My other sons, they say, you got these grandkids here. Them grandkids need their grandfather. So I had people praying. The church and um, people in New York and people in California. South all, Carolina. All over who I could think of knew the power of prayer. Willing him down that hall was, I mean, a feeling that I just can't explain. Just a feeling of thankfulness, you know, and grateful. You know, it, it was scary because you, you hear about people not surviving this thing. And um, I feel that I'm blessed to be here. Absolutely. I'm really blessed to be here with my family. It's just incredible. Oh, yeah. Willing yourself. Ah, magnificent and wonderful. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Again, want to say good morning to everyone. We thank God for um, just being so good and so gracious unto us. And we thank Him for um, this. I know Thanksgiving is coming up, and so many people are not able to be with their families, but how you can do it, even if it's just through a phone call, love on your family every day. Every day. Take every day, you know, to be thankful for what you have. Don't take anything for granted. He has purpose for everyone that's on this line. He has a purpose for you, 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 and me. Uh, one of the purposes is to get the word out to the people that uh, he yet lives. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I told you. <laughs> <clears throat> mm. Thank you. Mm. Glory, glory. Thank you, Lord. Mm. You know, with his lungs being, you know, the way they are now, that he would, would he be, ever be able to sing again? So Sunday morning, um, during our service over Zoom, David sang for the first time, and it was incredible. At first I was kind of hesitant because I didn't know how it was going to turn out. And all of a sudden, it just started flowing out of my mouth. Take charge, my king, in what you will. Let it be a sweet sound. In your ears, we exalt thee, we exalt thee, O Lord. You okay? Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. So every time I think of his goodness, and what he's done for me, I just want to give him, give him praise, give him what he deserves because of him that I'm, that I'm here, that I'm here.